This is my personal, just my Paul M. Sutter personal list of the top five biggest mysteries in the universe that astronomers, astrophysicists, and physicists are trying to solve right now. This list is presented in no particular order because I had a really, really hard time trying to come up with a ranking between them. So I just said, so it's just top five in general. Top five in general. These are problems that have been problems for a long time. These are problems that will not go away soon so that if you ever end up as yourself as a professional astrophysicist or astronomer, you're probably going to work on one of these five problems. You won't work on like the main question. Instead, you'll be working on one little tiny corner, some subset of the big problem, because that's just how science is organized. But I almost guarantee you that you will be working in some fashion along one of these five lines, these top five biggest mysteries in the universe. Number one biggest mystery, the nature of dark matter and dark energy. So 95% of the contents of the universe are of a form unknown to physics. And that sounds insane, but it's also true. And we just can't help it. Like, who knew that most of the universe it does not fit into our standard model of physics? Like, no one asked for this, and yet we got it. So there's dark matter, which is some form of matter that doesn't interact with light. That's basically all we know. And then there's dark energy, which is the accelerated expansion of the universe. We don't know what dark matter or dark energy are. And then there are all sorts of observational programs, theoretical programs, simulation programs trying to tackle the nature of dark matter and dark energy. So that is one of the biggest mysteries of the universe. Another big mystery is exobiology. Like, are we alone, even in a, like a bacterial sense? Is there life somewhere else in the universe? As far as we know, we're the only ones, and that seems weird. Because it's a kind of a large universe, but then again, we are kind of special. Was there life on Mars in the past? Is there life on Mars now? Is there life on the moons of the outer worlds? Is there life around another planet, around another star? What are the planets like around other stars? Is there another Earth-like planet around a sun-like star? Is there What's going on with things like the Trappist system, which have seven Earth-like planets around a red dwarf? Like, like all this stuff on exoplanets, searches for extraterrestrial intelligence, which is just one tiny, tiny, tiny corner of this entire problem. Really just, are we alone in the universe? We've been searching for decades and haven't found anybody. There's always next decade. Anyway, that's mystery number two is exobiology, are we alone? Big mystery number three, stellar and galactic evolution. So we have broad brush strokes of how stars form, how they live their lives, and then how they die. We have a vague sort of understanding of how galaxies evolve, how they assemble themselves from smaller galaxies, how spiral arms appear, of what happens during galaxy mergers. But there's so many questions like, how exactly do stars form? What does that process look like, especially if they have planets with them? Uh, the detailed processes of stars, I, we don't know exactly how supernova go off. Like, like we know the general picture, but we don't know the, the detailed mechanisms. Um, in our simulations of supernova, we, we have a really hard time getting them to blow up. Galaxies, we, like, when they, when they interact with each other, it's very, very complicated. Uh, they, they're, Interaction with their central supermassive black hole is very, very complicated and not very understood. Uh, how stars and supernova contribute to the evolution of a galaxy, uh, what globular clusters are doing, when did they come along, what did they represent. So like all these broad questions of just how do stars live and die and how do galaxies live and die. I would say is big mystery number three. Big mystery number four Remember, this is not in order. This is just a random list of five things that if you're a professional astronomer or physicist, astrophysicist, you're going to work on something along these lines. Uh, number four would be origins of the universe. What was the early universe like? We don't understand the physics of the first few seconds of the Big Bang. 
And then there are a lot of missing holes uh, along the line, even after those first few seconds. How did matter win out over antimatter? How did the forces separate from their early primordial state? Uh, is there any way of detecting that or finding evidence for that? Like, we just don't know. We don't know. Like, the, the earliest moments of the universe are almost entirely inaccessible to us observationally. So there's a lot of theoretical work, a lot of poking and prodding and trying to trying to get at that. This question is related to the dark matter and dark energy question because the contents of the universe tell you how the universe evolves and vice versa. But still, I put it in a separate category because it is a big, giant question mark. Lastly, top five biggest mysteries in the universe Number one, or number five, or number three, or remember we're not really focusing on ordering here, is the nature of black holes. And really the nature of dead stars in general, like white dwarfs, neutron stars. But then black holes, like we don't fully understand the interior of neutron stars, and they're really weird and complicated and super cool. Lots of researchers focused on that. Same for white dwarfs. But black holes just take the cake in terms of not being able to, like, in being able to defy understanding. We don't know what's happening at the center of a black hole. We don't know what's happening at the event horizon of a black hole. Uh, we've invested a lot of time and money in trying to detect black holes and find black holes and watch them merge. Um, we don't really know what's going on. Like, we know how they're behaving. We, general relativity is telling us how they behave and it's working. But then we don't know what's happening when we try to marry general relativity or quantum mechanics and use that combined knowledge to figure out what's happening at the center or at the event horizon of a black hole. So there you go. Like, we don't understand black holes. And so there's like a whole branch of astrophysics and astronomy dedicated to just black holes. Like, that's how big of a deal. I like, like, we got Nobel Prizes awarded for black holes. That's how big of a deal it is. So those are my top five biggest mysteries in physics and astronomy. If you ever want to be a professional astronomer or astrophysicist, guess what? You're going to work somewhere along those five lines. And I wish you luck. Please go to patreon.com slash PM Sutter to keep supporting this show. And all my education and outreach activities, I really, really do appreciate it. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you in the comments and I'll see you next time.